this is Sito back with another video on the Redmi K20 Pro and today in this video I'm going to be showing you the latest Pixel Experience ROM. Well why did I flash the Pixel Experience ROM you may ask because I don't really use a like totally stock Android ROM but I flashed it because the Evolution X latest build has removed the always unlocked with the fingerprint scanner and I thought I might as well switch to the stock Android ROM like a Pixel Experience ROM and try the latest build and how is it holding up. I will show you in this video. So let's begin. This is the 20th January 2020 build of the Pixel Experience ROM based on Android 10 of course and the security patch is latest January 1st 2020 and here is the play system update security patch or something and the stock kernel is the MNCD kernel over here and I have flashed this ROM with the latest Orange Fox recovery. I am on the MIUI 11.0.3 firmware and I have flashed the ROM file and the fcrypt disabler file because I am decrypted. It went fine, the flashing procedure went fine and if everything right now is working fine. But of course the ROM does not have a lot of customizations. First let me show you the battery section. Here we have the battery percentage option and of course it shows the battery percentage up top there. And you can see the full usage by just tapping on the three dots and over here. Well, I would say the battery life is just great. You won't be having any problems because it can definitely give you seven to eight hours of screen on time easily. No issues with that. Now, let me go back in the display settings. We have the night light option and stuff, then the auto or adaptive brightness. We have styles and wallpapers. Then from here, you can change the wallpaper and stuff. And of course, we do have the live wallpapers like these. You can download many of them. Even in the living universe, you can download any wallpaper you would like. Dark theme is working fine, no issues. There is also a color calibration kind of mode like natural, boosted or adaptive and in the display size and font size you can change the sizes of course and in the lock screen display we have always on display and this always on display is working fine but I will show you the fingerprint scanner speed later. We have a double tap to wake and anti flicker mode. Yes the anti flicker mode is turned on by default and double tap to wake yes it does work again but sometimes it doesn't and here if you go into the network and mobile network. And if you scroll down right now, yes, the Wi-Fi calling is there. You can enable it if you want to, if you have a Geo SIM or even Airtel SIM. And in the sound settings, we have this live caption mode. And if you turn it on and this will appear like this. So you can disable it too from here, from the volume panel. Whenever you are playing a video or something, it will like show live captions of that video. Like whatever the video is saying, it will show up on the screen. So that is really great feature, I would say, and it is there right now in this ROM. And if you scroll down, you have the Mi Sound Enhancer, as you can see. And from here, you can change the Sound Enhancer to Youth Edition or Mi Earbuds or whatever headphones you have, you can choose accordingly. And over here, we have a preset option too with the Mi Audio Dirac. We have rock, jazz, pop, etc. And the hi-fi audio is present over here too. And the sound output via the headphone jack and Bluetooth as well is pretty great. No issues that I could find with those. And you can disable the touch vibration and stuff. But let me tell you one thing, even though my phone is in silent, if you're noticing, we have the silent notification right here. But right now, if I take a screenshot, it will make this sound. So yeah, these things are there that the screenshot sound and stuff, I think you cannot disable it by default. The option is not here to disable screenshot sound. But yeah, that's how it is. We do not even have the three finger screenshot gesture options. So I'm not even talking about those. And in terms of the quick toggles, this is how many toggles you get. And you can add more if you want to, but there are not many options to like add, I would say. As you can see, this is all the options you get. Of course, it is not like the other custom ROMs. But yeah, you do get some stock Android-ish toggles over here. Now, let me show you the Fingerprint Scanner unlocking speed. And I would say, of course, there is no double tap to sleep or something. So I have to use the power button every time I want to lock the screen. And unlocking, I would say, as you just saw, it just doesn't unlock most times from the always on display, as you can see. But if I double tap and try to unlock, it still doesn't unlock. The Fingerprint Scanner is not that good. I have tried a lot of times. Still, the Fingerprint Scanner, like, has been uh, improved a little bit, but not in a way better margin. Okay, so the fingerprint scanner thing appeared again. Let's try, it unlocked. Let's try with this finger again, doesn't unlock. Let me double tap to like wake the screen, that didn't work, so I press the power button. Let's unlock now, now it did. So as you can see, it's a little bit weird that like sometimes it just rejects to unlock, but sometimes it works even at one try. Right now, as you can see, it took like three tries two of them failed it doesn't unlock like in most times but sometimes it just unlocks in just one try if you are doing it from the 
like lock screen not the always on display as you can see it did unlock even on one try same so yeah the few minutes cannot has a mixed kind of experience if you try it from the always on display as you can see it's, it's just rejecting on the third try it did unlock and it has this like cyan kind of color not the green one evolution x or something so it's like new y and while i'm testing the android benchmark score i'll tell you about the vaulty calls while well, the calls and stuff are working fine but there is no vaulty logo at the status bar but the normal vaulty calls do work fine but there is no call recording option in the in call ui and in the system we get the front camera effects and you can like change the sounds and stuff if you want to now talking about the gestures well there is a like android 10 gesture you cannot really control much from here and you also have the two button or three button navigation gesture if you would like so yeah let me go to the home this is the stock camera present over here the miui camera is there and it does work fine the wide angle camera and the like zooming 2x telephoto lens is working fine too and slow motion 960 fps and stuff and even 4k videos will be working fine you don't need to worry i have installed the gcam yes the gcam is working fine over here i'll put the link in the description below and you can watch this video if you want to install this gcam 7 and talking about the bugs over here in this room as you can see the always on display is turned on and with like one tube light turned on in my room always on display like brightness keeps flickering as you can see from the screen and yes i know this is happening because the always on display has that auto brightness feature with which like in, at night the always on display turns low and at the daytime the always on display turns brighter but right now as you can see it keeps flickering but if i try to cover the screen it just like stays at the low brightness as you can see but if i turn on one more light over here as you can see right now it just stays static so yeah this problem is there like if your room has one tube light turned on or something <laughs> this will keep flickering right now now let me open some of the apps and show you guys the app of speeds and the ram management and if you're noticing the app of no speeds and stuff seems pretty fluid play store opening up fine instagram and youtube let's open spotify as well now let's just open all the apps from memory again and as you can see the app switching and stuff is pretty fine i mean the app opening up animations and the app switching like this is like smooth enough no issues whatsoever that i could find over here the whole ui performance is pretty fluid here is the android score of this rom and talking about PUBG, you can play on extreme and hdr settings no issues with those and on the drm info side you get the level one because if you have a indian redmi k20 pro yes it is there but if you have a chinese variant or something you won't be getting the level one certification on drm so yeah that's how it is Google Pay is working right out of the box, no need to worry about that. And the front camera LED and stuff, if you're noticing, it is working fine too. So no issues with the front camera LED and the sound as well. I would say the ROM has been working great and like you can definitely flash this ROM if you don't like MIUI and you wanna stick with a stock Android ROM. This is a pretty great choice for you guys. Pixel experience has always been like great for updates and stuff and it is not like any different. It is working great if you want stock android you can definitely flash it but if you love customizations on top of stock android this is not a good rom for you for that i will still recommend you guys flashing the evolution x rom so that's been it thank you so much for watching guys give it a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe to the channel down there if you have not yet this is tito from kerry and tech signing off for today and i'll be catching you guys in the next one bye now